good morning good morning good morning and happy thursday you notice i have a jacket on this morning a little chill in the air and i am loving it i am loving it the seasons are changing and this jacket don't feel half bad but happy thursday to everybody happy thursday beautiful beautiful fall morning oh my gosh i just got to take a, a ch I just got to take just a minute and say this is the day that the Lord has made and we're rejoicing and we're glad in it oh I just love these mornings God is giving us another day I just want to say thank you well you know what I think God is trying to tell us something uh, through the daily bread you know yesterday I talked to you about uh, the title was a house undivided and today they're continuing this thing about unity you know Psalm 133 and 1 how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity you know the authors of our daily bread you know they write these things way in advance and you know it's no way that they can know what's happening right now but in this particular time this particular week when we're talking about different things and how we're becoming more divided rather to come together in unity God is trying to tell us and, and, and also the OJ's <laughs> that united we stand and divided we fall and you know it starts in the family in the family unit how do we expect our nation to be together and our churches to be together and all of that if it doesn't start in the family wow you know when i read the rest of psalm 133 it's only three verses and it says how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together and it's like the oil that ran down aaron's beard all the way down and I always ask, you know, why, why did David compare unity to oil running down, you know, Aaron's beard? Have you ever thought about that? Well, God gave me a revelation about that as it pertains to unity. Because, see, when that oil runs down, and, and when they did anointing and oil back there, it wasn't just a little drop. You know, they poured big flask of oil and it covered everything. And, and, and every, you know, if, if you're part of the body, you know, it, it covered the arms and the legs. It went down the arms and the legs and down the garments and, and down the arms because all of those members of the body was together. And whatever happened to one part of the body happened to the rest of the body because they were in unity you know one of the things that my husband and I have always followed and we always had this motto if one of us fall we both fall because we're united but if both of us rise we both rise you know we're not jealous of the other or whatever because you know even over the years over our 40 years of marriage, for example, um, we have fluctuated in our pay, you know, how we got paid from our jobs. There would be some periods of time where he made way more than I did. And then there were periods of time where I made more than he did. And there was one time when somebody asked them the time that I was making more. He said, don't you feel a certain way because your wife is making more than you taking? And he said, what? <laughs> you know, no, because we both were doing good. You know, there was one time, another incident when my husband got laid off and he had always been the provider, you know, but this was one of those things that he got laid off. And then another time, he went on strike because it was the right thing to do. 
and it ended up with good results. But during the strike, somebody said, you know what? You need to leave him. I said, what? <laughs> you know, because he chose to go on strike and the money wasn't coming in. And, and we just, you know, filled in the gaps. But I, I'm talking about being in unity because, you know, there are people that live under the same roof that are not in unity with one another. So like I said, if, if, if the family unit is not together, how can everything else outside that, that, that spreads from the family be together, <laughs> you know? So that, this thing is important. And I think God is trying to tell us something that this is not the time to be divided. We need to come together in unity. You know, when I do my research, when I did my research with gangs, because I was blessed one time to win a, a grant and I sponsored uh, a mentorship program for gang prevention. You know the reason why people get into gangs and the research shows it, they want to belong. Everybody in the gang, for better, for worse, supports each other in the gang. If this one needs something, they might have to go out and rob somebody or hurt somebody to make sure they're in the gang, you know, that they're together. Make sure that everybody is provided for in the gang. If you hurt one of my people, in the gang, I'm going to hurt you. I know that sounds bad um, in a negative way, but that's how unity, that's what unity is. So if that's true about gang, we should just take that all the way in the opposite direction, especially those of us that are in the family of God, that are members of the family of God, that we are together in unity. You know, even Jesus said at one time, he said, if you suffer with me, if you're in unity with me and in suffering, you'll be in unity with me when I'm glorified. Oh, my gosh. Unity. Oh, it's so important. God is trying to tell us something, y'all. We can't be divided. We can't be divided. Psalm 133 and 1. How good and how pleasant it is when brethren well together in unity. Oh, that's what I got today. And don't forget, tonight, 7 p.m., life study with my husband, Pastor James Gilmore Sr. Oh, he's got a word. That's another thing. We need the word. Oh, I just ran across that uh, song by Bishop T.D. Jakes. I didn't know Bishop T.D. Jakes got a little rap in him. But uh, that song is off the chain. Uh, my husband and I shared it um, today. We need a word. And everything that's going on, we need a word. We can't get too much of it. That's why my husband and I, we're trying to bring it to you almost every day. Whether I'm on the track, whether we're doing church school live through the church school lessons whether my, whether my husband's doing Bible study like he's going to do tonight with life study Sunday I think the only day we're not bringing you the word is on Saturday <laughs> but uh, it's a setup that's what we're trying to do we're trying to give you a consistent dose of the word in different forms so um, I'm excited I just love the word I, it's just it's this bread, it's this, it's this what we need. You know, um, in my story today, a friend sent me that, where, you know, we, we should, we should uh, see the word and, and use it for daily use instead of just like ice cream on occasion. I can't forget how the words is exactly, but you'll see my story. But that's how important the word is. We need to apply it daily daily to our lives and that's what my husband is trying to do when he comes on with life study to help us apply 
the word to our everyday life. Well, I thank you for joining us. Uh, and many of you, you're just saying how much you enjoy the word. Sister Francis, I know you are watching on a regular basis. We're still praying for you. Um, Sister Francis, uh, she just lost her husband. And uh, uh, I just love Sister Francis. And uh, like I said, she always checked on me every month to see how I am doing. And we'll continue to pray for you, Sister Francis. And as many of you that encourage Cousin Jackie, I'm going to give you a shout out. Cousin Jackie, you're always an encourager. And I thank God for you as well. There's so many more. But uh, there are some that, that's been leaving comments from different places, from New York, New Jersey. Sister Lynn Howard in New Jersey, I love you, girl. I know you, you have been blessed for a long time. And I'm just giving a few shouts out. And Sister Margaret, you always encourage her. You are always an encourager. And I just thank God for it. But don't forget how important unity is. Unity. We got to stick together, y'all. We got to stick together. Especially in this day and time. Y'all be blessed.